Hello, do you see the mic? I'm more professional now. Hi everyone, my name is Bo and today I want to do something a bit different. I love... <laughs> I love, <laughs> I love good designs and I thought I would share with you some of my favorite products that are not just beautiful but are also functional. This video is not sponsored, these are just products that I really enjoy and I think you will do too. All right, here we go. All right, the first product that I have here is called the Paletta Com, and it's made by Bandai Japan. And you might ask, what is this? So this is a collection of office stationaries and if you look inside you first see a palette of different shapes and colors which looks very nice and each of these shapes represent a tool so for example we have this shape over here which is a pair of scissors and each of these colors and shapes is another set of tools so we have this little box and it's a measuring tape and we have magnifying glass a little um, hidden compartment with some staples in it tiny stapler a ruler a box cutter then this a set of tweezers i think we have a hole puncher there you go and the last item is this tape dispenser there's the tape and yeah, that's basically it. I wouldn't consider these as real office tools because they're all made of plastic, but I think in terms of the aesthetic, it's very nice and something to have. Pretty neat. I like it. Palatacom from Bandai Japan. All right, the next product I'm really excited about... The next product that I'm really excited about is this keyboard. This is from the brand Melgeek and this keyboard is called the Mojo 68. 68 because there are 68 keys. I counted them. I have been into mechanical keyboards since, since two years now. And the thing about mechanical keyboards is you have to buy every single part separately and then have, you have to assemble them yourself. So the advantage with the Mojo 68 is once you buy this keyboard, it's fully built. You don't have to assemble anything. Another advantage this keyboard has in terms of other mechanical keyboards is that you can use this via Bluetooth or a dongle. Usually mechanical keyboards rely on uh, a cable. So you don't have to worry about this one here, which is very neat. It makes your desk set up very nice and clean. I mean, look at the design of this keyboard. It has like these accent stickers uh, on the case, as well as on the keycaps. Um, even though it is a lot going on on this case, the color palette is quite minimal. So it has this black, white, orange, and then the clear case, which I really like. They also have the same keyboard with the function keys, or if you like a different color setup, they have them also in different colors. Yeah, I think this is such a good buy. So if you're interested into mechanical keyboards, I highly recommend this one. The typing experience of this keyboard is also very nice. So this specific keyboard has linear switches, which makes the typing experience buttery smooth. You can have a listen right here. So this is the Mojo 68 by Melgeek. So for my final favorite product, I have this cube for you. It's the Anchor Mac Cube, I think. So I featured this product already in a previous video, but this is such a neat gadget that I'm using on a daily basis. And I think a lot will find use for this as well. I bought this last year in Japan and it's a phone charger specifically for the iPhone. And as you can see on the top part, you have this, you have this charging platform you can also tilt it like this, so you can have your phone facing you if you have it sitting on a desk or on a nightstand. You can charge your phone here, but also behind it reveals another um, charging platform which you can use for your AirPods, for example. And if you press in this little slot, it reveals another charging port, which is made for the Apple Watch. So you can charge three devices at once. I have it mainly sitting on my nightstand, 
you know, so at night I'll just charge all my devices on this cube and in the morning I'm ready to go. I think this is also very useful if you travel a lot. One thing though I would keep in mind is this cube is quite heavy. It's heavier than it looks like. I think there's some internal weights inside that keeps it from moving if you have it sit on the desk. But just something to keep in mind if you're thinking about using this to travel. It's not the fastest charger, but I think if you use it overnight, that's not an issue. All right, these were three of my favorite products that I have for you today. But I have one more thing that I want to show you. Uh, this was sent to me by the company Puncube. They saw my recent studio tour video where I used the Moft Smart Desk Mat. They wanted to show me their kind of laptop desk mat. And this one is much more portable. They have different colors as well. I'm really into earthy colors, so I chose this tan color. You can basically use this to put your laptop on a better angle to work with. But the one interesting aspect of this portable laptop desk is that you have a um, side compartment that you, can un that you can open like this and it acts like a portable mouse pad as well. So you have your laptop stand and your mouse pad. If you don't need the mouse pad anymore, you just tuck it away like this. You can also use this side as a notepad, put some paper over here and just climb it down. And there are some magnets in here that hold the paper in place. And overall, I think this is a very neat device. For me, as a digital artist, I'm using an iPad to paint professionally. So I'm always looking for portable iPad stands that are nicely designed, portable and light. So I tried using my iPad on this device, but I think because it's mainly made for laptops, it doesn't work as well for drawing purposes. So if you are planning to use it on your iPad as well, uh, I think this is not the right device. But if you're looking for a laptop solution where you can also use a mouse pad on the side, I think this is a very smart uh, solution. If you're interested in this portable laptop desk, I will leave a link down below so you can go and buy it. But yeah, anyways, these are three good design products that I have for you today. I have way more products that I would love to show you. So if you like the idea, please leave a comment down below so I know that you're interested. All right, if you know other good design products that you think I should take a look at, leave a comment and I might feature that in the next episode. If you have your own product that you want me to review and give my honest opinion on, please feel free to contact me via email. All right, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you liked it and we might see each other in the next episode. Take care.